Hi everyone, just a super quick video, a little how-to on how to use our brand new Technicolor kit, which is a holographic rainbow pigment coating kit. Now, inside Technicolor, you're gonna find three things. You're gonna get this stuff, which is called Prism. Prism is the holographic pigment itself, but it's near on useless unless you've got some way of applying it to stuff which is where this stuff comes in. This is called stick, and that is essentially what you're gonna to use to paint prism onto whatever you're using. And the third and final thing you get in the kit is this. We call this the wand, which you use to paint with it. So today I'm gonna to show you how you apply it to a couple of different surfaces. I'm gonna apply it to a magazine page, and I'm gonna to apply it to this sneaker, but it's worth noting you can apply this stuff to just about anything. Cars, skateboards, electric guitars, scooters, paintings, sculptures, pretty much anything you can think of, this stuff can go on. And the good news for those of you who want something that's a bit more hard wearing and durable is it's absolutely compatible with a varnish or a top coat. So at the end of the video, I'm gonna top coat something with some varnish just to show you that extra durability. So, with all that said, let's get started on the sneaker. Now, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna apply the stick. This stuff is, is pretty special, actually. Um, it's essentially an adhesive, but it dries crystal clear. So this is about as invisible as you can get. And you're gonna want a nice, and I always say it, but you're gonna want a nice, soft brush to apply stick. Dip it in and just paint it on the surface of whatever you want to encrust with that, um, with that rainbow pigment, with that holographic pigment later. So just paint a nice layer. Now, a couple of things to think about while you're doing this. Um, the first one is that you can't see where you're going. This stuff is completely and utterly transparent. So. Do your best to remember where you've been. Don't put too much on. You do not want a big old gloopy mess. And my advice is to actually let that dry for about 10 minutes and then give it a second coat because there's bound to be one or two little areas that you've missed. Now, today we don't have to wait for that to dry before we give it another coat because on the other side, here's one that I stuck earlier. So this is now dry and this has had two coats of stick, allowing it to dry for about 10 minutes between each coat. And you'll see it's very, very invisible. You, you can't really see anything's happened at all. So we're now going to encrust this with the prism. Um, well, actually, before I do that, let me just tell you a couple of other things about stick while we're on stick that are important. Um, the first one is you can use this stuff to encrust things with our other powder paints. So if you've got the pinkest pink, you've got Lit, you've got Blue List, Lit, or you've got Dazzle, our bio glitters, this stuff means you can powder coat things with them. So instantly, all those other powders you've got have had an upgrade because this makes it even better than mixing it into a paint. Another important point, Prism. If you think you can mix this stuff into a base or super base or a varnish and use it like a paint, you can't, it doesn't work. This needs to be on the top, the top surface, which is why we use stick. Anyway, um, let's have a little look at what, what it is and how it works. First of all, I always use a piece of paper and I put a little fold in it, and that means that any I don't use, I can quite easily put back into the bottle. Now you get three grams in here, um, which doesn't sound like a lot, but actually it goes an awfully long way because when you coat things with it, it actually only uses one particle thickness. Now, I'm dipping the wand into the pigment there, and I'm making sure it's nicely coated. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? And then, I'm giving it a little tap. We don't want any extras. And I'm coming over here, and I'm going to encrust this in it now. And I'm just going to very gently rub, rub the prism onto the sneaker, reapplying a bit more as and when I need it, and working it over the surface. And you'll see 
that it picks up absolutely beautifully. And what you want to do, once you've got it on there, is really buff it. You want to give it a good old buff to get the most out of that finish. And you'll carry on working that in. And you'll take your time over that, and it will be absolutely beautiful. But under my desk, I have one I made earlier. We did a whole sneaker, and it came out absolutely beautifully. I was surprised at just how durable this was on a sneaker. And actually, Jemima in the studio painted some on her sneakers, and she's been wearing them for a couple of months while we've been testing it, and it's still on there, so it still looks good. Um, interesting point, we used less than one bottle of Prism to do this whole sneaker, so that just shows you how economical it is. What we're going to do now is just take a little look at it on this magazine. I've prepared the magazine already with stick, and I've hidden a little secret message on here. So let's see. First of all, I've encrusted her eyes. And there you go. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? How about that? Isn't that sweet? You can see all those wonderful colours in it. And what's even more interesting, I've got almost all of that left. And that can go back in the jar to be used, used again next time to make something else. But I'll show you exactly what happens when you put varnish over this stuff. Now, in this pot, I've just got some generic gloss varnish. Please pay attention, it has to be gloss and it has to be clear. A matte varnish will absolutely kill this. And the varnish goes over the top there, goes on absolutely beautifully. And interestingly, it makes the effect even stronger. And of course it protects it. And if you use the weatherproof exterior varnish, a really strong durable one, then that should be good pretty much forever, I'd have thought. So there's that. Oh, something really important that I mustn't forget to tell you. Stick stays sticky forever. So be really careful in the studio. If you spill it on something, you'll end up sticking weird things to other weird things like I did this morning. I absolutely knackered my nana and I've had no breakfast because of it. So be careful what you do with stick. Last thing that I would say, I've got a little example here of it on glass. It goes on glass really lovely. I just thought that was, I just thought that was absolutely beautiful. Jemima made that couple of weeks ago and I just wanted to share that with you because I just think there's something really beautiful about that. So anyway, that's how you use Technicolor. That's what Prism is. That's how stick works. If I haven't answered anything and you're not sure, please contact us. Use the comments below. Email us. At us on Instagram. And be sure to share your work with us. We love seeing it. So it's at Culture Hustle on Instagram. Please follow us. We'd love to keep in touch. And, and thank you. In, enjoy Technicolor. Bye.